I want to look a little bit further today at the meaning of sin. Before we talked about sin as not so much focusing on the breaking of a law, but hurting somebody that we love. Yes, uh, it is against charity. It is against love itself, ultimately against God. Sin in the biblical sense has an additional meaning, and it means missing the mark. And so when we think about missing the mark, well, we think about, well, what does it take to be a good marksman? You know, if the mark is charity and is communion with God, communion with our neighbor, communion with ourselves, well, okay, how do we become a good marksman? And a great way, a, good, a great visual to understand this is to look at, well, the common marksman of today. If somebody who is a bow hunter uh, or an archer or somebody who does even uh, rifle hunting, you know, similar skills. But what's interesting about being a marksman, the best marksmen ultimately uh, are formed in such a way that what they do becomes instinctual. You know, in archery, you've got two different kinds. You have uh, the compound bow, which is very mechanical. It's very similar to even kind of to like a rifle. You have your sights, you have a lot of things to line up. Um, and it even takes out a lot of the areas where um, your own weakness or lack of skill could you know, move your bow in the wrong way. And so it has a lot of things to assist you so that you fire the arrow right and it hits the mark. And it's like a rifle as well. You have your scope, you've got to you know, focus, you have to have your sights right and, and zeroed in, and then you basically have to find your target and everything at that point is set up. Well, the analogy to that, to this time of Lent and the focus on virtue that uh, we're, we're trying to build up and a life of integrity and prayer is very similar. When you look at what it means you know, for that mark to hit, well, what? We've got to be focused. We've got to be focused in our life. You're not focused. You're never going to hit any target. You have to be intentional. You've got to be ready. And you've got to be in control of yourself. When you're hunting, like when you're doing rifle hunting, you're taught that you exhale and then you fire. You don't fire when you're breathing in. There's too much that can move. And so you've got to be, you have to you know, have your breathing right in control of that. Um, and then of course you have to practice. You have to go through the exercises of practicing. You know, ultimately you build up the skills and it becomes instinctual. And that's where I like to go to the bow hunting or just an archer where the best archer that I know of in the world, his name is Lars Anderson. You can Google him and check him out. Amazing, this guy just within half a second can fire off, about 0.6 seconds, fires off three arrows and hits the targets every single time. He's not sitting there aiming and, you know, uh, he doesn't have time to do anything like that. It's instinctual. He's learned the, the, the natural skills and the focus, the control, the mindset, everything that allows him now to do it really second nature even hitting an arrow out of the air, even catching an arrow, taking that same arrow and firing it back and hit a target. So it's quite remarkable. So when we're here, when we're looking at this time of Lent and we're looking at well, the path that we're on to grow in perfection, to really become a better man, a better woman, and not just, I say, you know, we, we hear you know, better versions of yourself or best versions of yourself. Well, in all of these areas, whether it be your, your body and the physique you wanted to get it in, your mind and training of your mind, and of course the greatest being your soul, all of these re, um, they require the same kind of, you can say, fitness in each one of these. You've got to be in control of what you're doing. You've got to be intentional, okay? And you, know, you, have, to, uh, you have to practice, you have to go through the exercises, and then last, you've got to focus. Focus on that target to so the point where that's all you are. And it's amazing when you're doing that, other things uh, that you need will naturally begin to align to that. So my daughter's experienced this, and I did a little bit once when we did, um, it was a martial arts and archery and sword, and it was all about instinctual shooting. And it's quite remarkable that when you fine tune a few things first, how easier it is to look at something and how your eyes and your body already are focusing on that target. So let's focus on that in the areas that we need to do so most, um, especially in our prayer life, in uh, having a, a culture of love 
and patience in our home. And then of course, patience with our neighbor. So lots of things to think about in this, you know, this meditation on not just sin being missing the mark, but how do we hit the mark?